Guys, MCD in the house coming at you with part two. Part two of my huge Blu ray pickup, which has got even bigger because I've waited and more stuff's come through the post. So if you don't like what you're watching or it's too long, I ain't got a clue how long this is going to be, get that little button, slide that red slider along right to the end. I don't mind. Okay, first of all, a trade that's been in the passing for ages, backwards and forwards, it got sent back to the guy. And that is uh, Brett the Movie Guy, put his name up there. His link will be down below. And uh, I sent him a still book, I think. I can't even remember, it might not have even been a still book. This brain doesn't work too good. And I did a trade of him and that is for War. Brett hooked me up with this. Uh, said he was getting rid of it. Um, so I was like, I'll take it off your hands. That's Jet Lee and Jason Stratham. Um, can't tell you any specs because there's a sticker on the back. So. Um, I haven't seen this since the days of DVD, so yeah, chuffed to put this one up. So thanks Brett for uh, hooking me up, and it finally arrived. Sorry about the posters to the UK, by the way. It's a nightmare. Uh, next up is three that I wanted to add to complete my HMV slipcover collection. Um, because I think they did seven or nine, I can't remember anyway. I managed to pick them all up finally in the end before they went out. I don't know if they're gonna release them all. I know the US are getting steelbook versions of it. But I picked up Shaun of the Dead, which is a nice little slip on the back that says a romantic comedy with zombies. Uh, my boy and I watched this and uh, yeah, he loves this film. Twice we've seen it now, so yeah. And you're wondering how can you see it? It's still on cellophane. Because I had it on Steelbook. Watch it. Yeah, it's a great film. Really, really funny. If you haven't seen it, hilarious film. Next up, probably my least favourite of the slip cover ones, and that's King Kong. I mean, what the heck is going on with him? I know it's the buildings, but oh my diggity days. How can that be King Kong? Yeah, anyway, King Kong, nice color. I like the color. Uh, Eighth Wonder of the World says on the back. And yeah, yeah, like I said, just to complete the collection. They look quite cool together. Uh, and finally, uh, American Gangster with Denzel Washington and Russell Crowe. Really, really nice slip. It says there are two sides to the American dream. And um, yeah, fantastic film. I've got this on standard Amaro, so if anybody's interested in just doing a, a trade for whatever, just let me know. Hit me a PM, hit me up on Twitter on a PM, or yeah, email me if you've got me email. Just let me know. So yeah, that's those ones. Uh, then I grabbed, let me see, another four. Yeah, another, no, another five from HMV. Uh, first up is a film I've been trying to look on eBay, but I don't know why people charge more on eBay when they know that we can get it cheaper in the shops. Just think. Stop and think a minute. Just stop and think. 127 hours. A crazy, crazy film. Danny Boyle film. And the soundtrack on this, when he's doing his nerves with him, pliers just... Oh, dear. Yeah. Uh, DTS Master Audio 5.1. And... An absolutely awesome film. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, like I said, the soundtrack is off the chart. The film's excellent, but the soundtrack just kills it. Uh, next one is uh, Quality Western, Val Kilmer, Kurt Russell. And uh, I haven't seen this since the days of DVD when I had that. I had the uh, brown case that you opened up, special edition, come with a little map and that lot. Um, let me see, DTS Master Audio 5.1 and 235 to 1, and that's Tombstone. Um, yeah. 5 for 30 I managed to grab it, so that was quality. And one of them wasn't even in the 5 for 30s. But my man at, at h and hooked me up again. So uh, he kept it, he said, keep it on the quiet. So I was like, all right, I'll show you what else he threw in. Yeah, Tombstone, great film. Uh, next up, one I wanted to sort of try to build my collection of Robin Williams. And uh, this one I haven't seen on Blu-ray. I've seen it on Sky Movies and HD, but you know, it's not the best picture quality. Um, so yeah, that was Hook. Lovely little artwork on that slip there, really like that. Uh, DTS Master Audio 5.1 and 2401. Not a bad film, but not the best. 
but um, it was definitely worth picking up to get my Robin Williams collection going. Um, I need to get a Good Morning Vietnam quality film. Uh, next one I picked up was uh, Robert Wedford. Uh, Robert Wedford. Robert Wedford. Robert Wedford. Robert Redford in All Is Lost. I uh, heard a lot of good things about this through a couple of uh, YouTubers and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to checking it out. Doesn't, films don't seem the same without him, I don't know, just being being more, what's the word? He's very hands-on, he's very, puts all of his heart into that, into that role. With some actors you just think, well, you're just acting. When I watch Robert Redford, I feel like I'm watching the person he's playing sounds a bit weird if you know what I mean that's how I explain it so yeah looking forward to checking this one out hopefully it's as good as people say uh, DTS Master Audio 5.1 or 240 to 1 so uh, I'm hoping that it's going to sound amazing as well and then finally a film which I saw twice this year last year I can't remember last year I had it on Steelbook sold the Steelbook because it was all sealed up got some good money for it going towards my little gift towards myself plus well you know the story guys you know the story rush superb film absolutely brilliant um the way this was was portrayed and the way that the story was i really enjoyed this a lot of people found it a bit boring um i can see why but to me it was excellent it sounded excellent they've even included some other footage in there that is actual footage and yeah excellent film and a nice little lenticular slip so really really chuffed chaffed chuffed chaffed I'm really, really chaffed. Heaven at the Disco. Check him out. Name's up there. You'll see his channel. It's brilliant and amazing. I've already said that in my last video. So let's move on. Uh, next up is some pickups from Amazon Canada. Now, first of all, I keep saying this. I wish more people would do it. I know the fact that you guys don't own Blu-ray players that are region free, but it's so worth doing with the prices that you get them for and the shipping. Like I said, on the cheapest shipping, they arrive in two, three days max. Anyway, I move on, I digress. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I haven't seen this since it was out on VHS, so I cannot, all I know is it's got a red Ferrari in it. That's all I know. And you can slate me as much as you want. So uh, yeah, I'm glad I picked it up. It was in the, like if you go to blu-ray.com, it's got like the best prices and best deals. It was in one of those ones, I can't remember what it was, but it's definitely under $10, so just grabbed it, why not? Uh, let me see. Dolby True HD 5.1 and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to uh, checking this one out like I said I keep them all sealed and sometimes it can be ages before I get around to watching them uh, let me see what else we'll do. next one was Action Jackson superb funny film back in the 80s um, I saw a couple of trailers of it after I bought it and I'm quite chuffed 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 excited to watch it again it's cold weather it's cheesy it's funny and uh, yeah but like I said we don't have it over here, so it's a bargain. Uh, let me see, 178 to 1 and DTS Master Audio 2.0. But me, receiver will take care of that and sort the sound out for me. Yeah, check it out, Action Jackson. Next up, um, the only thing that happens with Amazon Canada is sometimes, sometimes, they put the French writing on the bottom. But that is the last action hero. And uh, yeah, this Arnie, little boy, little boy gets sucked into cinema because he's got a magic ticket, if I'm right. I think I'm right and Arnie's, he gets sucked into Arnie's action world and he's trying to convince Arnie that he is from the normal times and he's not really an action hero. It's hard, it's hard to explain. Check it out. You've all seen it anyway. I'm probably the only one who hasn't got it on Blu-ray. Uh, let me see. 24021 DTS Master Audio 5.1. So yeah, it was definitely worth picking up and um, yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Uh, next up is a film, now I'm a Janet Jackson fan, she is fine, and I picked up, I was going through what film she had, and I picked up Set It Off, uh, DTS Master Audio 7.1, 7.1, oh yeah, 7.1, so yeah, excellent about that, and D uh, 240 to 1, and the DTS Master Audio I think with the soundtrack is going to kick, now from what I've seen on the trailers, they're all gangstresses going to be robbers, type thing so yeah it's um yeah I can't wait to check it out what can go wrong it's Janet Jackson she's fine Queen of Tifa mm. uh, next up we've got uh, like I said another one to add to my Robin Williams collection and that is one hour photo now I was watching this on eBay 
just at the slip on eBay because I didn't know if it was going to arrive with the slip and it did. So I was over the moon, over the moon. And uh, yeah, it's got some nice extras. I'll put that in close, you can see that. Sorry about my shaking hands. You can see that. <laughs> yeah, um, I have not seen this film. Uh, nothing but good things about it, so I can't wait to check it out. Uh, let me see, DTS Master Audio 5.1 and 185, so full screen, can't wait. It says Region A, don't know if it is Region A. Next up, a film, let me see which one should do, a film which I would put on par with um, Boys in the Hood, but they both got their plus and minus points. This has got more violence in it, Men's to Society, fantastic film, awesome film. Me and my boys sat down and watched this. I've seen it loads of times before, but only on Blu-ray. Looks amazing, soundtrack's kicking, loads of violence, and um, yeah, it's a, it's a great film. Uh, 185 and 7.1 DTS Master Audio. So yeah, check it out, guys. Like I said, all of these, seven, six, five, nine dollars. Nothing was over 10. And uh, yeah, like I said, got here in no time whatsoever. If there's a little cut in this, it's gonna be the postman, because my door's open, so I'm just letting you know. Uh, and then next one I picked up, which I haven't opened, but we'll have a look now. And that is, just give me a second. Sleep away camp with the slippery doo da. Now, I've heard, I've never seen the film, but I've heard that the ending of this is crazy, but no one tells me the ending, which is cool. Everybody's videos says, oh, the ending's brilliant, and no one gives it away, which is cool. And when I've watched it, I won't give it away either. And that comes with a lovely slip. Scream Factory. As with all Scream Factories, you get the little reversible slip. And I like the sneaker even better, so I'm gonna switch it around because the slip's got the artwork anyway. So let's just switch it around. Two disc set. Uh, one's DVD, one's Blu-ray. Yeah, Sleepaway Camp. Whoever knows about it, you know the deal. I don't. Uh, loads of extras, special features, as you always get with Screen Factory titles. And we're talking 178 and DTS Master Audio Mono. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. I've never seen it. And last one, this came out last week, and I was saying to, um, I think it was Brett on Twitter that he's arrived, and I said, oh, mine hasn't arrived yet, and then that next day, or the, that day, he actually arrived, and that is Congo. And uh, yeah, from what I remember, it's um, some, there's a crazy monkey, they go to this island, or they go to this cave, and there's a crazy monkey, like a sacred monkey, but it's a sacred ground, and yeah, I can't wait to check it out again. Like I said, it was a long time ago since I've seen this. Uh, let me see, DTS Master Audio 5.1 and I can't tell you the aspect ratio, but yeah, I can't wait to check this one out. I've got so many films to watch, guys. God knows how many that is. Uh, next up is a few pickups that I managed to get off of eBay and uh, some still books. So what we'll do is I'll show you the ones that I've got off eBay. Now this guy, I don't know if he knew what he was selling, um, but I thought I'd just bid on it, and I won it in the end. I put a 650 bid in, and I think I got it for 5.99, something like that. And it's uh, all sealed up. And that is Predators, but it's a digibook. I know it's a French digibook, it's probably gonna have French writing, but it goes in my digibook collection. And uh, yeah, I like the artwork on that, it's quite cool. I've got the uh, still book of this, and it's got the big blue band across the top. But this is quite a nice still book, uh, digibook, sorry. And um, yeah, let me see, I can't even tell you anything because it's all in the French. I cannot see it, I cannot read it. Oh. Yeah, I thought it was a good film. Uh, yeah, I thought it was a good film, that's all I can say. Next up is a pack that I got from Amazon Japan. Now, I've got this on standard Amarai, I say standard Amarai, you can only get it in America and Germany, and the German one goes for stupid prices. But I put a link on my Google Plus page, and I linked it on Twitter as well, and I thought I have to pick it up, and uh, I can't read a thing because it's all in Japanese writing, but when I show you that, you'll know what it is, it's They Live. Now it's a collector's box set edition type thing. It's a right solid case, and inside you do get some nice fancy little bits. 
So like I said, it's a rock solid case. It's not like that bending cheap shit you get over here. Now on the inside, I shall show you. You think it'll all be in Japanese, but it's not. It's all in English. And first of all, you get a little sheet of stickers, which are really quite cool. Now obviously I'm not gonna peel them off and stick them all around me house and that lot, but yeah, just those little touches. Check out Amazon Japan, you know, and they ship mega quick. Next up, you get the CD. It comes in like a little, it's not a stand, but a little case thing. You get a CD or the soundtrack, and it's got 29 tracks on there. And like I said, the artwork is pretty, pretty dope. So yeah, it was well worth it. I think it was 40 pounds all in. Now, some of you are gonna be on an R in, but you've already got it on Blu-ray. Yeah, I know, but I wanted it again, because it's a nice set, and I collect sets. And then you get a little pin badge, which is quite cool. And then you get the actual standard Blu-ray itself. And uh, I'm not too sure, it says region two, so I'm presuming that might be all right to play in the UK. Uh, it's DTS Master Audio 5.1, and I'm not too sure about the subtitles. I'm pretty sure they won't be forced. So yeah, that's quite cool. And I like the clear case on this. And then on the inside, I wouldn't say, it, well, I think it's quite, it's just different, nice and plain, but with stay asleep on it. Yeah, really, really nice. So um, you get like a little, I don't know, it's not really a book. Well, yeah, you get a little booklet with it. It's a little piece of paper. So yeah, excellent stuff. Check it out, still available. Definitely worth picking up. That pile's gonna fall over. Uh, and then finally, we can get onto some still books. Now, these came ages ago, and I keep forgetting to show them. Um, and that is the complete series, and I'm talking four weeks ago, five weeks ago, the complete series of the Indiana Jones still books. I'm gonna keep these still, because it's just gonna hold their value, and they're gonna help me out in the future, if and when. Uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, I know they're all super glossy. Um, I can't really show you because the plastic's on, but yeah. Raiders of the Lost Ark, awesome artwork, original poster artwork. Then we've got Temple of Doom, same thing again. Awesome artwork. The Indiana Jones part is embossed. I don't know how or where you can see that. And then the rest of it isn't. And that goes for all four of them. Uh, then you've got The Last Crusade, which is probably it's hard to say, might be my favourite out, out of the lot. Lovely artwork, brilliant stuff. Like I said, all sealed up. And these all came in one package. A lot of people will get them like two and three days later. These are all in one big package. Um, separate boxes, but all arrived on the same day. So yeah, excellent. And then the last one, Kingdom of the Crystal Skulls. It's all right. It's not the best movie, but hey, it's Indiana Jones. Getting shot around the air in a fridge. And then, uh, let me see, and then, and then, and then, I picked up the, what's down there? The Sin City Steelbook. Now, I've got this on uh, standard Amray, but the Steelbook is absolutely gorgeous. From the pictures we saw that were floating around, everybody thought, or I thought anyway, that it was gonna be white, but it's not. It's silver, but it still looks nice. The finish is beautiful. The way they've done the plasters on that, I'm trying to get that in the light so you can actually see the way they've done the the plasters without getting any glare. Awesome artwork and the back is strangely more appealing just because it's black and glossy. Really, really nice. It's a quality film, can't wait to check out number two. The reason why I grabbed this is because two's coming out on Steelbook as well. It's a two disc set. Um, I don't know if the other one's all extras. I'll let you know on the back of the card. I think they're all bonus features on the other one. You get some inside artwork. I haven't even popped these discs out, so they're quite stiff to pop out there. You get some cool inside artwork, which I hope you can see. Yeah, Sin City, absolutely brilliant film, and like I said, a really nice still book. And, like, and also, like I said, I'm trying to open up all my still books, apart from the indie ones. So yeah, Sin City. Uh, next up is, um, this came yesterday. Yesterday? No. Tuesday. This came Tuesday. I thought it was the original Piranha, but it's not. It's that bloody remake, but the remake's all right. It's better than the second part of the remake. Uh, that's Piranha. I love the artwork on that. The Piranha's embossed, and you've got like a, I don't know, like a, a satin matte effect on the front there. 
Uh, this was from Amazon Canada as well. It was nine dollars thirty something, I think, or seventy something. So I had to grab this one up. Um, let's see if I can give you any details on this. DTS Master Audio 5.1 and 2401. I thought it was quite a good film. Um, no, nothing compares to the original, obviously, but it's a good film. Then I grabbed the um, still book of to go with the rest of them, which I do own now actually, and I think they're all sealed. And that's Army of Darkness. Now I'm not opening this one either because I grabbed two of these, put one on eBay, $29.99, buy it now, and it went for $29.99. So I know it's going to hold its value. Apparently it's all glossy, um, Army of Darkness, really, really chuffed. Excellent artwork on it. Really, really cool artwork. Sorry about the glare. Really, really nice. And um, yeah, not, some, not too bad of extras, just a few. So that's Army of Darkness. Uh, 185 and DTS Master Audio 5.1 and um, yeah like I said excellent I'm glad I picked it up next one I've got three copies coming I don't know God knows how many but it's one of them films that I don't mind triple dipple quadruple dripple in on uh, and that was so far I'm three quarters away for it and you know what I think is a brilliant film the way they have done it of showing a lot of people in Monaco, there's only so many minutes of Godzilla. I think they've done it the right way. Is they've shown the threat, and the threat is the creature they've, they're, they're hatching or they've created. And the soundtrack is probably, it's definitely demo material. It's, this the, it's the best soundtrack I have ever heard. I put it on at half past four in the morning, thinking, all right, I can turn the bass down, and it kicked the shit out of my house. So it's Godzilla. This is the French still book. The artwork on the back is brilliant. It's 7.1, it's 240 to 1. I need to get myself a projector and get it up on the big screen. But it's a nice, it's not a bad still book. I know the, we're getting a HMV one, uh, but this film, I think it's brilliant. I really do. Uh, that's the inside. It's just, I don't know, the way they've done it, it's, I just think it's so clever that they've done it so that you get more, you get to know the threat is the that creature thing, I don't know, what you, like a mantis, I don't bloody know. And that the other part of it is a Godzilla's coming along. I think it's excellent. So yeah. And then I imported from Amazon.com, which was going around, I think it was just an online one, so I'm not too sure. I don't know if it was available in stores. But the Godzilla and the whole tail there is all embossed, but not just embossed, it's like the most embossed steel book I've ever seen. And then apparently it carries on around the back and then you get this little button here and you press the button now I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this probably not but yeah it makes the, uh, the actual roar which is brilliant uh, the Godzilla writing isn't embossed but like I said you don't need it with a towel that's embossed like that really really excellent excellent stuff probably going to be my favourite film of the year that and uh, Guardians uh, and then finally, yesterday, I think that's it. Yesterday, I have to keep looking at the door. I know he's going to turn up. Yesterday, um, my eagerly anticipated set arrived, which everybody's been getting. Now all I did was I cut out a little bit of plastic because of the dust. I get dust. It's dusty in this house. So yeah, it's the Halloween complete set, and um, I've only ever seen one, two, and I think a bit of three. I'm not too sure. So it was just worth me picking these up. Uh, it was 50 pounds to the UK. Um, so it's like 90 something dollars on the, on, on the Amazon Canada site. The artwork is brilliant. You've got the pumpkin on the side. Um, I'm not too sure what you've got on the back. I'll try and put a little picture in picture there and show you like the whole set. Um, but you get all of those movies, they're all in black cases. You get Halloween 1, Halloween 2, Halloween 3, which I've got on the uh, a slide amount. I was going to do an individual sort of look at this. You get a lovely little booklet, which is quite cool. Uh, just, I don't even know, because this is the first time I've sort of got it out of its, uh, sort of, I don't know, out of its packaging to actually do a, I was going to do a, a thorough unboxing, but we'll have a look at it now. You get some nice little bits in there, I suppose it's telling you all about the remasters, or telling you about the, um, films themselves I'm not too sure about the director and directors so yeah uh, Donald Pleasant God bless him um, yeah superb I mean look at that 
brilliant. And like I said, 50 pounds, man. That's, that's so cheap. And then go back to the fields. You've got Halloween one. I'm not gonna go into massive detail here. Like I said, I'll probably do an individual video. Halloween two. Halloween three. Season of Witch, I like that one because it was completely different. You know what I mean? So many days till Halloween. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Halloween four, never seen, so I can't tell you anything about it. Halloween five, never seen. Black cases are awesome. Halloween, uh, let me see, The Curse of Michael Myers. There you go, so I suppose that's Halloween six. Halloween H2O. Now, I don't know if this is the one with, uh, oh, it's got LL, LL Cool J, one of them's got Buster Rhymes. Halloween Resurrection, that's the one with Buster Rhymes. Yep. Then you've got Rob Zombie's Halloween, which I liked. Yep, one of them rare ones, and I even liked two. The fact that it was all over the top and gory. So yeah, cool. So yeah, I am over the moon. All black cases, all looking awesome. So uh, yeah, what can I say? That is it, guys. That's my update. God knows how long it's gone on. Thanks for watching. Thanks for staying tuned. Thanks for getting me to 680 subs. 680. Can you Adam and Eve it? So thank you so much. Um, I'm going to probably end up doing a shout out video just for everyone who's subbed to me recently, left comments and stayed true to MCD. Because you know MCD stays true to you. So yeah, love, purpose and peace. I'm out of here. See ya! Are you there, sir? Read the O! We've had some problems. Will you shut up and listen to me? Shut down all the garbage managers on the detention level, will you? Do you copy? Shut down all the garbage managers on the detention level!